Now, before I take this out, uh, I know everybody wants to see it. I just want to mention a few things about double action before I forget. If you're if you live local and you want to come to double action, um, we got a special on ammo. We got um, five five six PMC for a thousand rounds for three ninety nine plus tax, of course. But that's just for walk-ins. We don't ship ammo or anything. I just wanted to let you know that. And uh, we are doing uh, the recertifications for Act 235 and recertif and the whole course, too, of uh, the Act 235. I don't know too much about it. But uh, I do know we are starting that in, I forget what was the date, February 8th, 9th, 15th, and 16th for the regular... Uh, course which is a 40 hour course so they charge three three hundred fifty dollars that it, that includes the um, the training the firearms the uh, the ammunition the targets it includes everything so that's pretty cool uh, that we're branching out we're doing that now anyway don't you hate when your kids are constantly reminding you how old you are and alone how fat I am watching cable and um, we're trying to find something to watch. I said, oh, look at that Gilligan's Island. Jesus, that brings back memories. Man, I'm old. And my adult son, my adult son says, what the hell's Gilligan's Island? Yup, we're approaching the years where you really are getting old uh, or starting to get old. It's bad enough that I'm fat. My toenails are yellow. What, what is that, that yellow toenail thing? I mean, every time I get done cutting them, the clippings look like little crack rocks. It's disgusting. Anyway, if you're new to this channel, there's a little taste of it for you. This is the Glock 42. Uh, there's not a whole lot of videos out on it. And uh, so I'm one of the, I don't know, maybe first 10 or 20 people to, to be able to even show this to you. I did not buy this gun. I asked permission from the range, can I take this home and do a review on it? Because everybody wants to know what it looks like, feels like, and I can't tell you what it shoots like, but they just want to see it bad. So here it is, the Glock, the Glock 32, sorry, the Glock 42, and uh, it comes with two uh, six-round magazines, okay, and it comes just like any other Glock. It's just, it's, it's really neat looking. It's just a miniature little Glock. It's really cool. Comes with all the same shit you always see. Okay, and here it is. I'm taking it out. There's a mag in there, and there's an extra mag. Uh, it looks like a single stack mag, pretty much. Yeah, kind of like s stacks like this. It's not really a double stack. Six plus one. There's your typical classic strong steel wrapped in polymer. Beautiful Glock mags. Real strong spring. Classic Glock quality as far as the magazine goes. There's your cleaning brush which is probably too big but you can squeeze it in there. It looks like a 45. And the rod and the, the, uh, the gun lock. So it all comes the same way. Geez, you think I'd know the price. Double Action has a few of these right now. We're one of the first gun shops in this area to get the Glock 42. So here it is. Give you a nice, uh, that is really neat. It's a little 380. And uh, I know it's safe because it's brand new. And it has the Gen 4 style frame on it. There's the new mag release, the Gen 4 pattern uh, stippling, but you don't get the back straps. That, that you do not get. Okay, but it definitely has the Gen 4 style frame. Of course, no light rail. It's too small. Uh, but everything else is uh, pretty much the same. There's your trigger. It's got the combat trigger, a nice smooth trigger, or vice versa. I always get that mixed up. Uh, but everything's the same. The, uh, the uh, famous Glock finish, the, the most durable barrel finish on the planet is our Glocks, which I think Sig Sowers are using now. How do I know that? You'll see in a couple days. Um, it's really a cool little gun, and it has that classic Glock trigger. It's just a tiny one. You would think, ah, look how little it is, it's not going to feel the same, but it just, it feels exactly like any other Glock you would buy. There's your, your five and a half pound trigger pull. There's your typical field goal 
Glock sights with the field goal sight, which I'm a big fan of those sights. Same kind of take down tabs, I guess it takes down the same way, it always does. Since I pulled the trigger, let's see if I can, I can get it taken down on my, uh, damn, T fat hands. It's like I show the inside. Double recoil spring, So you, which tells me, make sure you use good ammunition. That's nice and hot, so it can operate that thing. What? There you go. Gen 4 recoil spring. Uh, we didn't think it was a Gen 4 because it only came with two mags, and Gen 4s usually come with three mags and back straps, but it, it is a Gen 4, Gen 4 style Glock, without a doubt. Okay, there's your, everything else is the same, comes apart the same. It's a little 380, and uh, of course, no, just like Glocks always come, no machine marks, clean as a whistle, looks beautiful, uh, awesome, goes back the same way as any other. It's just miniature. I'm not a huge fan of the 380. I just never had a desire to have one. But I'm sure if I ever do go 380, see the problem 380 is right now is it's hard to get the ammo. But we we always get it. We're you know we're a law enforcement range, so uh, we will get it. We will get lots of it. So don't worry about that. We have we have plenty of hollow points. I know that. I think there's a stamp I've never seen on the Glock before. So I don't know what that means. You guys can see that up close. See that? It's like a little P or something. But I'm going to show you a Glock 19 next to it just to give you an idea how small this is. Same exact operation. You take the back door off the Glock, everything's held in with spring pressure, no roll pins, you don't need any tools to replace any parts. That's what's great about Glock. If you're out in the field, your Glock breaks and you have backup parts, it takes you five minutes to change any part in the entire gun. Glock's the only gun that's like that. Even a even a military gun like a Beretta not M1. If if your trigger breaks, uh, you try changing that in the field or any gun as fast as you can with one of these Glocks, which is amazing. I mean, it's that's that's why I love them so much. Same thing with the frame. Everything is is pretty much exactly the same from what I can see. I don't think there's nothing they had to sacrifice to get down to the size. Is what I'm saying. Everything's pretty much yep. It's all the same. Very nice. There's the, the crucifix, the trigger springs under the crucifix, they call it. Same thing. Okay, there's your four little tabs. Very, very nice. Slide it on. Just like any other Glock. Okay. It's got to make sure you find the rear. Not used to this little gun yet. It's the same way. You slide it off. Slide it on, just like any other Glock. Sorry, my phone rang. It got interrupted. Nice trigger. Uh, let's do a, a size comparison. It's really hard to tell on video how small these guns are. But if I put it up against a Glock 19. Alright. Huge. I mean, it's huge difference. I mean, huge. Width, length, every which way you can imagine. This is... I mean, here's the 19, there's the Glock 42, major, major difference. It's probably the size, actually it looks a little smaller than my shield, okay? So we'll put the 19 aside. Here's my shield that I carry, and the Glock 19 is even, the Glock 19, the Glock 42 is even smaller than the shield. Look, it totally hides behind the shield smaller definitely the shields longer the shields thicker uh, the, sh the shields just a bigger gun I don't know if you can tell on the camera but it definitely is not by a lot but the Glock is definitely uh, like this way the thickness is way way more slim than the shield is but remember this is a 380 this is a 9mm I don't know why Glock just didn't go 9mm they didn't. I don't understand that. But this is a really neat little 380, and I don't have a 380. If I if I did a 380, I probably would go with a Glock 42. That is really neat. Here's another up close for you. And you guys like to look at this? I do. There's the top. 
Here it is in my hands, very, very small. It would be like nothing carrying this. I'm trying to see a gun. It's bigger than an LCP, but it's smaller than an LC9. It's like right in between here. This is way bigger and bulkier, the shield, than this tiny little uh, 42. So just giving you a uh, size comparison, not one's better than the other, okay? Well, that's it. That's all I can tell you about the Glock 42. I just wanted to take it home just to show you guys. I know a lot of people be interested in seeing this little gun. 6 plus 1, classics, beautiful, you know, I love them, Glock magazine. You get two mags with it, that's it. Uh, usually Gen 4, Gen 4 Glocks you get three mags, but I don't know if it's classified as a Gen 4, but it has the, the Gen 4 look. That's all I can say. And that's it. Hope you liked the video. Uh, hope the size comparison helped you. There's your 19, there's your little 380, and um, I'll talk to you guys very, very soon.